the French website Gully, or Gully, uh, posted some images of the upcoming Cyberverse cartoon series, specifically some full body images of some of the characters. Now, it's no characters that we don't already know that we got from the official Hasbro website where they gave us that huge little list of characters and we got these little bust shots mm -hmm. uh, with, with small little profiles and everything. So the bus shots actually came from full-size images and stuff, and a lot of these images were on the Ghoulie website and in all their spectacular glory, along with some alt modes and everything. So I figured we'd just, like, go through some of them and everything. So we have, like, an Optimus Prime, and we get to see what his alt mode looks like. Again, stuff that we know from the toys and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, the Grimlock, the, the Windblade, uh, the Wheeljack. We got a Blur. We got a better shot now of Blur's entire... Um, Body, R body, or which, legs too. Which the legs, too. and it's very, very. I'm telling you, the more that they show off this blur, the more it looks like the IDW blur, which I mm. dig a lot. I really like IDW blur's design, so I'm really. I like, I like how his thighs are made out of basically vents. Yeah, it's, it's cool. <laughs> I dig it. Uh, Star Scream, the it, it, the Star Scream clearly shows a very different kind of uh, show design than Thundercracker, so it's good that it doesn't show that they're just repaints of each other. Um, Starscream has very uh, IDW Rodimus knees for people know know what I'm talking about. It's very mm. Alex Mill kneecaps there. Um, and then and then we got like little group photos and stuff. And in in the group photo, the only thing worth mentioning is because they use a lot of the same art for the group photos. But you get to see kind of the full sh the full body of Hot Rod. And the only thing worth mentioning with the Hot Rod is his legs have the traditional um, triangle stickers that his old G1 toy has. So they kind of mm. kept that detail there, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, but aside from that, um, you know, nothing really too much to note. Uh, I mean, we, we've seen yet another clip of Cyberverse and everything, and we're still kind of waiting in bated breath with how this is going to all turn out. And I, I, I'm, I'm trying to keep op optimistic and, uh, and hope for the best because, I mean, uh, as we discussed, like, last segment about, let's say, the Mega Man cartoon, you know, I just, I just marathoned an 11-minute episode show Mm -hmm. And I was reminded yet again of how limited those kind of shows are. Yeah. And you're, when you're talking a cast like Mega Man, that really, in the case of Mega Man, it's it's a lot of villains and really one or two heroes that you really have to focus on from development. Where with Transformers, it's 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 a lot on both sides. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and it's a lot on both sides that the fans really. I don't want to say they expect it, but it's it's always nice to, you know, I think I think Beast Wars spoiled us where mm -hmm. every character got his time to shine even the likes of let's say air razor and uh and um and rampage that probably got the, probably the least screen time still got something mm -hmm. um where i mean people are looking at this and it's like uh, i'm just gonna let you know now don't get your hopes up that you know wheeljack's gonna get a story arc or something you know what i mean so it's it's something that's gonna be a little uh difficult to deal with but otherwise, um, yeah, it's a. Uh, it looks pretty cool. The the designs now that we got full shots of them. But that being said, uh, we'll definitely keep our opinions until the first episode airs, and we'll we'll definitely give probably a review of the first or second episode, and then take it from there. Yeah, uh, I really like the designs. I find they really pop. Um, one thing I'm kind of sad about is that the show is not uh, in 2D. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like. These designs would really, really probably, I want to say, benefit if it was more of a 2D show instead of, like, all CGI. But, um, I don't know, I think it's, it would probably be kind of easy to stick them on a 2D plane in a little, in a, in a kind of way. I, but, I, um, I, the, the, problem, I don't know. the problem that I have with that is just, I mean, I don't want to go on a rant when it comes to American animation, but it's just, like, I feel that if they would have gone with 2D animation, I'm kind of worried with the current trend of how 2d animation is being handled on the american side of things everything's done like that flash kind mm -hmm. of lazy you know keep the assets and then just articulate it kind of animation uh, okay okay people know what i'm talking about which is just so so much of what we're dealing with today and then well, one the one thing i do want to bring up is that if you look at the hotel transylvania movies uh that's being done by gendy tetra tetra the which guy that did movies think, yeah the guy that did um I think it's Samurai Jack and uh, what was that other show? The one with the the f oh man, I forgot. But like he's done um, a bunch of stuff like uh, 
Dexter's Laboratory and um, Johnny Bravo. <laughs> no, I don't think it was Johnny Bravo. That's Butch I Hartman, wrong, I think. I think that's but, Butch Hartman. But the the point I'm trying to make is that he does 3D movies, but the way the characters flow and move, it feels very 2D. It feels very grounded in a 2D well, sensibility. That's what, what I wanted to, to get say. to is like the flip side of like cheap 2D animation that we have right now in America that's becoming very prevalent is I also, and I see this a lot mostly on Netflix, Mm-hmm. is there's a lot of cheaply made 3D animation stuff too. Right. And and it's just like that's that's the flip side of it is like at the same time I mean again I feel like we've been spoiled with Beast Wars mainframe spoiled us. I mean I I just recently was like rewatching Shadow Raiders. Mm. And and it's like that's the worst possible thing to be watching <laughs> to then be yeah, remi- it's the top of the line. It's basically. literally it's literally like the top of the like probably one of the most beautiful shows ever created for for television for cg you know like mm. it's i mean mainframe went out of their way to make a show based off of a crappy trend master toy line and don't get me wrong i like the tre- i like the toy line personally but i will agree it, it has its flaws uh especially from a company like trend master that back in the day was known for making bootleg toys so um but anyways point being is i i, I have optimistic about this series i really hope that something good comes of this and again uh, Slag will definitely do a review of the first episode when it finally drops. 